about to do some cool stuff with my friends or one of my friends today and um we have i have everything set up here so like what's what this is is basically um this laptop's connected to the tv but down here you can see the green screen and stuff working from the zoom call connecting to a discord so then it can go to my computer over here where you can see both of them and the other laptop playing the game from the streaming so then it can go over here and then stream both games so like look there's it would say it says my name at the bottom there it says my friends there and then I'm up here and then over here is the other camera so if you go here you can see right there you can see me I'm on the other side so I would someone would sit here and the other person would sit there and we have over here of course the mouse and keyboard that connect to the TV that you can play on while I also play over here <laughs> pretty sick um, I can't wait to do some Dungeon Keeper versus in the skirmish. Maybe a uh, bottleneck or some other cool maps we might play. Stuff like that. This process is really hard. And I wanted to actually show you how I did this. So first off, Dungeon Keeper runs in a Wii re resolution, which is good. Because the resolution is square. Which is perfect for doing this, uh, this thing where it shows both of us playing. Because it's square enough that it fits in the rectangle. Uh, a, a triangle. You know what I mean. It fits in here. So... Uh, what I do is, um, Discord on, uh, PC, uh, for the wi uh, Windows, like, uh, browser, allows you to do these pop-up windows, which allow you to make them smaller so you can just stream what's in here. So right now, these are four of my Discord accounts, uh, put in one, so t this one here is streaming the game. And this one here is streaming the green screen for this computer. Then the other two here are connected. So you can, um, uh, I for oh, that's right. So you can watch both streams because you one guy only can watch one stream at a time. So one of the guys is watching the pop-up window with this here. So uh, this one is going to, I think it's uh, you to me. Uh, yeah, it's it's you four four you is watching the, one of the pop up windows, and then uh, uh, info broker is watching the 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 green screen, which means so I can make them smaller so it's only that half, and then I can go into a Pacific window. And then it goes here, and then you can just see that. <laughs> it's so complicated. It takes me forever to set up this these things, too, because I've done them before with some other videos when I played, like, uh, The Sims with my friends. There's, like, a Sim series. Make sure to subscribe and check out that series. And that one took forever to figure out how to set up because I had, f I think I had four or three friends with me, and we had to figure out how to make... Um, the the May software, which allows you to like have like an animated character, and uh, instead of your real face, and then add that so we could screen window it so we could have four people but in a certain way so it wouldn't take up the whole screen, and also see them. So we put them in like this L shape. If you go back there, you'll see it, and or just on the side. There's two ways we did it, and then um, you can only see. That's what you would see. Yeah. Anyway, make sure to support me. And um, when my game releases as well, make sure to support me there. And yeah.